now, okay, these two questions are calculus things, which usually we can discuss in drop-in session, but I found it important because few students ask a similar question. That's why I went through it again in tutorial session. Okay, please read this question for one minute. Then we try to solve it together. Can you please start the video? Yes, yes, I started, thank you. Okay, the question says, you need to find the minimum speed, speed means the magnitude of the velocity vector, at this point, which is the top of the loop, to keep the contact between the bicycle wheels and the loop. This is the condition, remaining contact. Okay, this is a conceptual thing we observe in real world. I need to translate it to mathematical language. What does it mean? When two objects are in contact, for example, this is the surface of, sorry, my drawing is not good. Surface of a table you put some object on it. They are in contact, yes? When they are in contact, based on Newton third law, the table surface applies a force, which is normal to this contact surface, upward to the mass, and The object or the mass applies the force with the same magnitude but opposite direction to the table. Then, whenever you have two objects in contact, based on Newton third law, there is action and reaction between them. Assume now another situation. You have this table. but the object is not in direct contact with the table. Do we have any action reaction force between these two objects, between table and the mass? Yes, no? You can type in chat box. No, therefore, now I think we are able to translate this condition to mathematical language. The bicycle remains in contact with the loop means n should be always greater than or equal to zero. Equal to zero provides the minimum. This is the mathematical translation of this condition which we observe in the real world. I think the rest is quite easy to solve. This is the only, okay. Now this is my loop. This is my object, the bicycle or whatever with the rider. I prefer to use normal tangential coordinate system because for me this is a circular motion. But again, there is no unique approach. At this specific point, which is top of the loop, my e hat t is this one. And 
the normal one is always towards the center of curvature. Yes, there is a, because we want to keep the interac interaction between the bicycle and the loop during contact, definitely there is a normal force applies from the surface of the loop. And we know this one always is perpendicular to the contact surface. For example, if this is your surface, this is your object. This normal traction or reaction force or action force is always perpendicular to the contact surface. This is the contact surface. And here, this is your contact surface, part of the arc. And normal to it is towards the center of curvature. And we have the math, mg is downward. And now I just write down the second law of Newton. And as we said, this is the vector form, is it dependent of the coordinate system? But in this case, I want to use NT, normal tangential coordinate. You can solve it using the other coordinate system, but you should clearly state your assumption, your coordinate system, the positive direction, which means the unit vectors. Otherwise you will lose the whole mark. Then if you remember from the lecture, this can be divided in two components form, the tangential components, which in normal tangential coordinate system, AT is V dot, the rate of change of magnitude of the velocity. And the normal direction, these are a scalar form, this is vector form, it's M A N. And if you remember, the normal acceleration, which represents the change of direction of the velocity vector, we proved that it's V squared over rho. Rho is a radius of curvature at that specific point. And here you have a circle, then rho is constant at all points. Any questions so far? Is the velocity in the ET direction exactly? This is what we discuss many times, always in normal tangential coordinate system, the direction of E hat T and velocity are always the same. Moving left to right, oh, sorry. It's coming this direction. No, going to this direction, yes. Am I right? It's... Okay. Anyway, we don't look at E hat T. And I don't care is there, uh, if there is any friction or not. Yes? I, I want, I'm just looking in the end direction. Okay. For normal direction, in normal direction or end direction, whatever you call. Okay, at a specific point at the top of The loop. Zigma Fn, I just rewrite again this one equals to m e over. I can put the radius of the circle is constant in this case. Then please help me. This is a positive direction for normal axis. How many vertical force do I have at this point? How many force in normal yeah. direction? And we have zero because you've said it's equal to zero. It's just I didn't put point. anything equal to zero. The end what? And you said was equal to zero. I have two. One is there action or reaction applies from the surface of the loop to the option. Is it positive or negative? And Positive or negative? Positive, because it's in the same direction at E hat N. 
And we know always the surface applies a force, yes, perpendicular to the surface of contact. Is downward the mg also is? Downward positive. Do I have any other forces in normal direction? No, then the whole thing equals to man, which is lb squared over r. When do you experience? Now we return to this, return back to this condition. And should we greater or equal to zero? Greater than or equal to zero? N is equals to mv to r. The rest is just playing with mathematical things. This one should be, this is the condition to keep the contact. Yes, from this one, my V2 should be, if you cancel the mask, take the G to the other side, your V2 should be greater than rho G. If I take the square root, the absolute value, here I just, the question asked about the speed. Speed means the magnitude, which is always positive. That's why I don't care about plus minus. I put absolute value is greater than or equal to rho g. The radius for rg. The radius of the loop as a circle is given, 2.7 meter. Be careful about the units. You can use whatever you want as a system of units, but it should be consistent. Here we use the metric or SI. And approximately 5.14 meter per second. Then my V, sorry, my V should be greater than or equal to 5.4. Is this one the final answer? Yes, no? Yeah. Uh, no, the question says, find the minimum velocity. Yes? Isn't that What's the least? 5.14. Yes. If this is always greater than or equal this value, then V mean is equal to 5.14. This is the final answer. Any question? Don't feel shy. If, even if you think your question is crazy, that's fine. Sometimes you see I make crazy mistakes as well. We are here to help each other for a better understanding. So as um, n would increase, then the speed would increase as well, right? The minimum speed. Yes, because this is positive. This is, but we have angle as well. Uh, in the next question, or maybe the last question, I will talk about it in detail. But for this point, you're right. At this point. So if, if, we, go, if, if we go further along the loop, then you've got to figure okay, out. The then, because here, then, then you then have the angle. angle. You have angle, the angle of mg. And then it depends on alpha as well. Very good question. I will go through it in the last example. So then it would be dependent on mg and the function of the angle. Angle as well, exactly. Thank okay. you. Then we will see the most probable point Yes, to have separation between the object and the loop is the top. Yes? Because you may ask in the last question, you may ask why we just, here it says, remain in contact with the loop at all times. Yes? We just look at the equilibrium of force at the top point. You may ask why, why not here? We easily show that the, the most probable point yeah, to experience the separation from the object is the top of the loop. We will go through it. 
we will go through this. Okay, this is kinetics based on Newton's second law. Now we want to look at similar problem, not exactly the same. And we see the kin to solve this problem, the Newton's second law is not enough. We need to look at the conservation of energy, which we call it principle of work and energy. These are the same work. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. A question in the in the last example. Yes. Uh, so why is the mv squared over r term in the opposite direction, in the negative direction? Sorry, this one, the v squared r. Yes, because v squared over r, that's acceleration, right? Yes. So shouldn't acceleration be in the direction of the center of the... Uh... Exactly. As we discussed for the empty coordinate system, always... This is we proved as well. Okay, it's not examinable, but we proved. It's always in the direction of E hat M, which is the direction of center of curvature. Well, in the equation... Uh, shouldn't it be in the same side as the N and the MG terms? I, I don't care. I say F N equals to M A N. Yes. I want to write this one. Yes. To be yeah. able to write this one, I need to have a positive direction for N. Here you agree that positive direction is this direction. Yes. Yes. That's it. Now you tell me. The acceleration is positive or negative? Uh, it's positive. Always it's towards the center of the curve, which is positive. I don't make any assumption here, plus minus. I just look at my coordinate system. Uh, oh, oh I, I understand. So the N and the MG terms are the ones causing the, uh, the Exactly, for example, okay, look at, okay, okay. This is not part of the question, uh, this problem, but okay, if the question asks to calculate the N at the bottom of the loop, yes, here you have N upward, MG downward, yes. Uh -huh. The N is towards the center of curvature, which is equals to rho V square root. What's the direction of E hat N? Is this one, yes? Yeah. Now for this one, again, I just write it down as it is. Because it's a general form. I cannot put plus minus. Yes? Can you help me to write down? Mg is plus or minus? Uh, Mg is negative. Is plus or minus? Uh, minus. Minus. Oh, my board again starts making problems. All right. Oh, Mohammed, again, I need to restart my computer. Can you go through their question? I come back in two minutes. I need to restart my computer. I apologize. Yes, doctor. No worries. Thank you. Doctor looks still here, yeah? He looks, oh, he just left. 